Well, we're in totally different attire now. Uh, dry top, dry pants. Um, we're about to go fish Cayuga Lake right behind me. Uh, we're going to target lake trout, uh, possibly salmon if they bump into them. But lake trout's the main target. Falling like 10 to 15 out of the northwest, so the direction kind of sucks. But we're going to give it a try. Not really planning on keeping anything today. Going to be up here for a little while. Um, half, ounce, half ounce jig, Spanish candy, Spanish mackerel jig. And the other one I got a, a one ounce SNS bucktails jig head, one of my shads, stinger hook. Uh, yeah, some trolling plugs. Like I said, not trolling. Leg core's home. I can't even get tempted to troll because I didn't bring that. Kayak's all ready to go. And yeah, we're going to take the kayak out there. I'm imagining we're going to start in like 70 feet. Okay, right, let's see if we can jig up some fish. Oh yes, there it is. 56. Got a little bit of life in 56 just now. Some Lakers down there. Just like that. Oh, it's good to be back on it. <laughs> we just jigged up our first mud chicken. Well, hello there. Muddy buddy. That lake trout hit the five inch peanut shed. Got a good body of them here. Oh baby. Just give me a little cuddle. Oh man. It's the mud chicken. I had a stinger hook on there, but he broke him off. It's a little little trout. Damn, aggressive fish. See ya. Definitely gonna be like the, that first fish, first cast cursed. I have not had a hit now in a couple minutes. Actually, I did have one more hit. I missed them. Did not feel very big. I might have just found a, a batch of some smaller Lakers. That's really what I'm thinking here. Oh! Oh! Big lake trout. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool, man. This guy might take some drag. Not a bad one. I think he hit with some. Oh, we lost him. Oh, he hit it with some intensity, man. Bony mouths, man. It's like bluefish. You don't know when that hook's in there sometimes go down to a smaller profile. I really need to put a stinger hook on this thing again though. They, these trout love to short strike, man. Um, let me, uh, what's it called? Uh, get a Kitek going here. The old Kitek. The Kitek. I don't know if I'm dealing with mostly small fish and one or two decent ones. Uh, I don't know. I also have not marked, I did a little bit of long drift. I call it down a ways and I wanted to see if I could find some more fish and I really didn't. So it's a little very scattered stuff. Oh, oh my god. On the drop. On the drop. Sick. On the drop. Uh, you know, oh boy, we went from jigging, uh, big reds, oh man, oh, this is a big lake trout, guys. Challenging fish, man, we're on one for three right now. Let's see if we can turn our odds around. Solid 26er, let's see, can we get it done here? Oh yeah, nice lake trout, man. Nice one. Look at that. Uh, mud chicken returns. The return of the chicken. Woo. These things, man. Let's get them 
out of here. Look how fat he is, too. Real nice trout. Cold water. He's good. Pretty, pretty confident 28-inch Laker will hit my shads, no problem. Say lake trout don't fight. I think they're definitely wrong on that one. <sighs> All right, we got another decent lake there, huh? Let's get him out of here. See ya. Ah. Nice. Definitely on a body of fish now. Here, very large fish, man. I'm learning a couple of things. First of all, I have a medium heavy rod behind me. That's too. The action isn't right for this, man. I'm, I'm ripping the hooks out of these fish's mouths. Um, I went to the medium fast dark matter rod, and uh, yeah. Now I know. I'm learning a couple of things, man. I'm kind of new at not new, but. You know, I'm learning things as I go along a lot of times. And it's been a while since I've done this Laker jigging. And all of these hooks I'm using on the Kytex are crap. Like, I'm very nervous about this fish right now. Because I have a real lousy jig head. And these Lakers do this very, very powerful head shake. He is not done with me. Nice fish. Nice fish, man. That's a nice lake trout right there. Nice. Real nice laker right there, man. Yeah. Fat, healthy. This is a nice fish, man. That hook came right out. Whew. Real nice fish, man. All right, my friend. Guessing he's around 26, 27 inches, somewhere around there. Real good girth. It's a healthy fish right there, man. <laughs> there he goes. So my strategy now is I'm just looking for them. I'm not dropping a line actually until I mark them. I know they're moving. I haven't seen them in a little bit, so I'm like kind of concerned. But I know they were they were moving a lot, quite a bit. But they could have totally moved off to a different area. You know, that could have been the way of a fish that moved through, and that's it. Um, so I don't know. Figure out my jig head situation for the rest of this week. So. So I'm having a hard time finding heavy jig heads around here with short shank hooks. So it's a big problem I'm finding. The three, this is a three quarter ounce teardrop jig head. My buddy John Barbosa makes them and gave me a bunch of them. Not perfect for this type of fishing, but um, so I went through two of these already. See, look. And uh, I don't know, I'm just too rough on my jig heads, I guess. These lake trout, they do bend hooks, man. So both of these are bent out, no good. Fubar. Uh, I can bend them back, I guess. I'll do it later, not on the water, but um, right now I'm, I switched to this teardrop jig. Um, we got two lake trouts on, on uh, Kytex, two on my sheds. 
I definitely have a better hookup ratio on the Kitex, but I am missing plenty, and I mean plenty of fish on my shad, but I need to add a stinger hook or something. And uh, these fish aren't that big. That one just now was the biggest of the day for sure. You know, probably around, I'd say he's probably like 26, 27 inches on that fish. Um, it's probably like a seven, eight pound fish, I guess. They fight hard, man. Don't knock, I, these fish have a reputation among some anglers as not being fighters, but I don't know. I think they fight harder than, I might, I'm gonna say they might fight harder than any of the other trouts. They really bulldog a lot, so. Looking for when you're lake trout fishing. We got a bunch of fish right under the kayak here. Uh, let's see if we hook up. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Uh, it's not always a guarantee, even though if you mark the hell out of them. All right, we're hooked up again. This one feels a lot smaller. It's probably a lot of the fish I've been missing. He ain't too big. Little, little mud chicken right there. That's your Round Valley Reservoir mud chicken. He's releasing all that air out of his bladder. One of the most difficult fish to handle. That's the lake trout, man. It is not for the squeamish. That's the fish I've been missing, I bet. Little chicken right there. That's a wild fish. He's got both of his, his fins, too, so. Natural reproduction, very cool. The mud chicken. Oh man, the bite has turned on here, man. That might be a better one. Yes, sir. I wanna say he's a giant, but he's big. Must have hit him like right in the right spot that he doesn't want to take drag. Damn. Big lake trout, man. Wow. Look at that. Holy crap. That's a really nice trout. Nice trout, man. That is a very nice lake trout. Alright guys, let's get this guy out of here, man. I don't know, I'm gonna guess 28 inch, somewhere around there. Yeah, feisty fish. Real feisty. Oh, he's good. Sick. I made a slight change. I went to a thinner gauge hook with a longer shank, so hopefully I'm going to drop less lake trout now. That is my hope and dream, but let's see. And I also switched the rod. I went to the different action rod. I feel like I'm dropping a lot of fish because medium heavy uh, it's not, doesn't have enough give for me. So these aren't these aren't tarpon. These are lake trout. You know. I'm packing it in right now. Um, very good day of just kind of popping in. Couldn't ask for something better, you know. I had no intel. I just said, okay, let's try here. It's Baja Northwest. Let me just try this. Uh, all I fished with today was four-inch Kitek Easy Shiners and 
five and a half inch YSV fishing peanut shads. Uh, links in the description of where you can buy them. You can buy my peanut shads off my website, jnh.com. I'll have them back on Amazon when I get back. Yeah, no, yeah, that's about it. A severely underrated fish, a fun northern fishery, and actually a pretty good eating fish overall. Definitely not a bad eating fish. Um, I've done plenty of catching cooks with lake trout. It's always good stuff, man. Yeah, that's all I got. It's kind of it's kind of simple fishing, but it, it, it is also this is a challenging fishery at the same time. Sometimes it's super easy, sometimes it's not. Uh, I don't I really don't understand these fish sometimes. So when the good days come along, you appreciate them. So that's all I got. I'll talk to you guys later.